Hey, welcome to Baby Math. Today I'm going to do a second example on binomial expansion and this one I'm actually expanding a binomial with a negative term. Okay, so we have learned Pascal's triangle and you can watch the video to, to see how we create the, the coefficients but it starts off as 1 and then 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, and 1, 3, 3, 1. So this is uh, the binomial to the zero degree, the binomial to the first degree, binomial squared, and binomial cubed. So these are my lead coefficients for this layer that I need, which is cubed. So my coefficients are going to be 1, 3, 3, and 1. Now let's figure out what our terms are. Okay, I'm going to take the first term and I'm going to start here and raise it to the third power and then raise it to the second power, and then first power, and the zero power. So 2x quantity cubed, the second term is 2x quantity squared, then 2x to the first, and then 2x to the zero. Then I'm going to take my second term, or the second part of my um, binomial, and I have a negative 1, and I'm going to ascend. So it's going to increase. So I start with a zero power. Then I go to the first power, then I go to the second power, and then negative 1 to the third power. Now a couple quick things about exponents I haven't talked about yet is each term will have a sum of exponents of 3 in this one. Since we're expanding a cubic, you'll add these exponents always to 3. Okay, Just a helpful hint when you can kind of check it as you're setting it up. Now let's figure out what each, each of these uh, four terms is. So I have 1 times this is 1, right? And then I have 2x cubed, and you can't forget to cube that coefficient. So that's going to be 8x cubed is my first term. Then my second term, I have negative 1 to the first power. So now this term is going to end up being negative. So negative 1 times 2 squared, well that's 4, so that's negative 4. Negative 4 times 3, which is 12. So my coefficient is 12, and then x squared. My next term, I'm going to take negative 1, and I'm going to square it. Well, that means my term is positive. So I have 1 times 2 to the first, which is 2. And 2 to the first time, that's 6, x to the first power. And then my last term, notice I've got 2x two, two to the 0, so remember that simplifies to 1. Then I have negative 1 cubed times 1, which is just negative 1. So there is my 2x minus 1 quantity cubed all expanded and multiplied out using Pascal's triangle. Now, something else besides the fact that these exponents are always going to add to 3 as you're setting this up, you have to, um, you also have n plus 1 terms. And what that means is, um, when I'm expanding to the third power, my answer will have n plus 1, which is 3 plus 1, or 4 terms. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms in this one. Okay, the other, um, the other pattern I want you to begin to notice is when we're expanding a binomial with subtraction, every other term will be negative. So you have positive, negative, positive, negative, because you're raising that second term to odd exponents on the, on the second term and the fourth term, they're going to be raised to negative exponents, therefore, or to odd exponents, therefore the terms are going to be negative. So there's a couple helpful th hints to help you out. So there you go, there's your second example of expanding using binomial theorem.